Every Muslim should be a detective. When you speak, be sure that your speech doesn't harm and cause another brother to be unhappy. Be a detector. When someone speaks to another person, be a detector that you don't read some and the messages are not confused or mistaken. Be a detector. When you are in a jamaah, make sure that someone sometime will not say come and say something. I mean, um, uh, whether he may, meant it or not, which will bring the community down, be a detector. If you are a leader, you should be able to have the sense, high sense of detection. If you are any person in the masjid, we together should be able to detect in order to prevent. Now, they're talking about conflict resolution, conflict uh, management, because they want it to happen anyway. So, after it's happened now, they are going to work. Manage it. Now Islam said, detect it before it happens and stop it before it happens. That's why in Islam, the Prophet said in the Hadith, um, we, we, it's, which is popular in our, uh, our schools and our homes, Al Muslimu, Man Salim al Muslimuna, Min Lisanihi, Wayadi. Al Muslimu, a true Muslim is he who all the Muslims are saved from the harm. Of his time and his arms. When he speaks, he doesn't just say that thing and leave you to suffer. But he will calculate his speech and make sure that he doesn't cause any harm to you. So when we build the community, building means we should be detective to make sure that since the Sulla Samson, that building is not perfect. So we should be careful. We should be mindful. We should be calculating. We should be concerned about how my world is going to afflict or affect my brother. We're talking about building strong and dynamic Muslim community. Just one way. We can, the whole lecture can just be about building that alone. But I'm just bringing this from here and there so that we can also add many things to this and make it in you know, the, the broader perspective. So this is what I just want to say about building and what that building entails. So it tells what? Number one, a builder. Number two, that which we intend to build. Number three, patience. Number four, perseverance. Number five, effort. Number six, skills. And, and then detection. Because that building is not necessarily perfect. Because we are all human, we think differently, we see differently, our analysis on things are different. So when we can understand even the beginning, the building, this all come together, believe me, then we have put our foot on the right step of building the dynamic community. But when we fail, when you don't care about the building, when you just come and paint and give us raw paint, this paint, there are different types of paint. There's some paint, when, the, when the, it rains, then it goes away. But come up with paint again. It, the water washes away because it's paint, paint. So the building is not going to be clean and neat. So we have to be very careful the way building. And you at home, you in the masjid, you are, as, as Muslim everywhere, the way building should have all these ideas and meanings combined. That said, let's move forward to the next word. That's what? Strong. Strong. We derive our strength from who? From Allah SWT. And from our Iman and faith. Without Allah, without faith, we can easily be defeated by the least force of Allah SWT. Or the, even the enemy of Islam. When we have no faith, the strength, the, our build, no matter how we look strong physically, we will be defeated. Sayyidina Umar, when he arranged the assembly, Muslim army to defend Islam, that's what he told them. 
He said, Beware, soldiers of Allah, that you are going to defend the best word ever evolved on the face of earth. But beware that you can only defeat the enemy if you have more faith than them. But when you are equal, you do the same thing that they do. You drink the same alcohol that they drink. You do all the evil that they do. Sometimes you even do more. Then it is strength against strength. It doesn't matter whether you are making salat. Because the salat is powerless. Because Allah Shaitan to make a salat to mock at you. It's strength against strength and they have more lethal weapons, they have more power, they have more people and they will vanquish you. So it's not about just uh, 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 the physical but it's strength from Allah SWT. When we stand firm with Allah, we are on that spot without any doubt, without any debate, wins. The Prophet as you know, and, and uh, most of the jihad, most of the Ghazwas, and at the early time of Islam, and the formative time of Islam, there were few. كَمْ مِنْ فِئَةٍ قَلِيلَةٍ غَلَبَتْ فِئَةً كَثِيرَةً بِإِذْمًا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Wallahu, ma'asalim. How many a time? How many? Kam here means many. It's not the particle of kam umruk. How old are you? No, we have that kam. And this kam fi atin. How many? That means a lot. Many, numerous times. Kam could be used many times. Many. Kam mean fi atin. How many? Few group. Alida. That's it. Very few. They were able to defeat large group. But it is nila. By the will and power of Allah. وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَيْتَ So it's not about the physical, it's about Allah on your side. So if you want Allah to be on your side, if you invite Allah and you did not through your wrong decision, through your evil actions, urge God out of your life, then you are a winner. There are many people who cause Muslims a lot of evil. And I'm not talking about the ego, I'm enlightening someone's self, but urging God out. E-G-O. Urge God out of your life. When you urge God out of your life, you are ready for the final doom. You are ready. You are gone. And Allah has to save your mind as Muslim. Otherwise, there's no difference between Muslim and non-Muslim. So we have to seek the strength from Allah and not from any power, not from any superpower. Today I was listening to the news and in the morning and they were talking about uh, about 50 years or some anniversary of the naval force of the United States of America and they said one aircraft which went on the cruise or whatever in the sea, in the ship, is 50 Seven million seats, one aircraft. Fifty-seven million, one. And America possesses how many? Uncountable. Saudi Arabia is now buying as many of those aircraft as they can. People are rushing to have power, but the real power is what he invests with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give his commandment anytime to those planes to meet their target. They call it uh, smart uh, uh, bombs. Al-Qanabdi Zakiya. They are so smart. But they are so stupid when Allah says be stupid. They will be stupid like you can never imagine possible. I mean, we, we need to invest in Allah. Ibrahim alayhi salam. I don't want to debate too much, but some of these issues are very important. Ibrahim alayhi salam. He all know his soul. When his people found that it's unbeatable, they cannot stop him. Unstoppable, they say, you know what? Let's just burn the guy. Let's burn him. I mean, that's it. Get rid of him. 
ملائک اس کے ملائک تو رحمہ ملائک تو العذاب اور دی اول کیم تو جبریل علیہ السلام کیم ان جائن ہی سیئر گوڈ اس می تو کام ان اس کو دبائی وانت اس ریل ہی سیئر گوڈ نو مائی سیٹویشن مور دن یو دو دی پوائنٹ آئی وانت برنگ ہیس وین ای ریجن فائر اس ریل ریجن نوٹ جیس فائر ریجن فائر ریجن وچ مینز ایس ایس ہیوڈ فائر According to some Mufassirin, that birds could not pass on the sky where the fire is you facing. Know, they can't, they will be fried immediately. They will be roasted. That's how big and huge the fire was. But what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send rain, okay? He send rain to come and send the fire. That is possible, which is easy and we can understand easy. But Allah doesn't want to act this way. He allowed the fire to be what? Fire. And allowed the people to be around. The Mruj came, ready to see Ibrahim burning to ashes. And Allah said to the fire, I want you to continue burning, but don't touch Ibrahim. Hmm. Which one is more miracle? For just rain to come and extinguish, or the fire to continue burning, and Ibrahim stay in the fire until the fire is all gone. Ibrahim come out strong and healthy. The same thing. Those aircraft, fifty-seven million, they call it smart. They can be stupid like anything. Allah can make them even fail to even hit the target. So I'm just bringing this example for you to see. Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail. Allah tested him to go and slaughter Ismail. He did not stay to win and have a sharp knife and he was trying to fulfill the dream. But Allah did not say Ibrahim stop. Allah tested him and he was trying, trying, and Allah told the knife, you are not a knife today. I don't want you to be here. So Allah, oh, look, what is done in the hadith, all the iron, everything they used to make the, the aircraft, they are making subhanallah alhamdulillah. So I'm just want to pray that Allah can stop any power. So if we stand by Allah, although we have less or fewer weapons, although we don't have the, that uh, strength that when the military generals will put in the analysis, yes, but with Allah, believe me, we cannot be defeated. We cannot be defeated. The history is true to that. In the, in such an Islam. So the strength, building strong, we have to, you know, um, turn to Allah to apply the strength. Not ever, never ever to aid Allah out of life, to always feel the presence of Allah's possibility and capability to empower us, to guide us with Islam and be out there and be proud and say, my name is Muhammad and I am a Muslim. ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. Some scholars, علماء like Imam Zamakshari in Kashaf and Imam Tabari, and some of them said this ayah could be understood as تقديم الآخير, which means there is frontier and backing. And the meaning is ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا ومن أحسن قولا ممن قال إنني من المسلمين وعمل صالحا. That means you have to say, I'm a Muslim friend before you do good deeds. And, but when I later on look at the ayah, I'm like, look, Allah would have said it this way. If that's what Allah wants to say, He wouldn't go this round. But listen, Imam Shaharawi, the Allah, infused this in my mind. He said, I'll take Allah's word the way He took it. It's Arabic language. He said, Man ahsan kawalim, Who is better in his speech than he who called the way of Allah? He's a believer who called to the way of Allah. So he's already what? A believer. Wa amil salihan and follow with a good deed. So number one, call to the way of Allah. Number two, do good and merited action and deed. Wa qala in nani Muslim. And then say loud and proud, I am a Muslim. I mean, um, uh, uh, whether he meant it or not, which will bring the community down, 
be a detector. If you are a leader, you should be able to have the sense, high sense of detection. If you are any person in the masjid, we together should be able to detect in order to prevent. Now they're talking about conflict resolution, conflict uh, management, because they want it to happen anyway. So after it's happened now, they are going to work, manage it and leave you to suffer. But he will calculate his speech and make sure that he doesn't cause any harm to you. So when we build the community, building means we should be detected to make sure that since the solar Samsung, that building is not perfect. So we should be careful. We should be mindful. We should be calculating. We should be concerned about how my world is going to afflict or affect my brother. We're talking about building. Every Muslim should be a detective. When you speak, be sure that your speech doesn't harm and cause another brother to be unhappy. Be a detector. When someone speaks to another person, be a detector that you don't read some and the messages are not confused or mistaken. Be a detector. When you are in the Jamaa, make sure that someone sometime will not say, come and say something strong and dynamic. Muslim community, just one way. We can, the whole lecture can just be about building that alone. But I'm just bringing this from here and there so that we can also add many things to this and make it in you know, the, the broader perspective. So this is what I just want to say about building and what that building entails. So it entails what? Number one, a builder. Number two, that which we intend to build. Number three, Patience. So Islam said, detect it before it happens and stop it before it happens. That's why in Islam, the Prophet said in the Hadith, um, we, we, it's, which is popular in our, uh, our schools and our homes, Al Muslimu, Man Salim al Muslimuna, Min Lisanihi, Wayadi. Al Muslimu, a true Muslim is he who all the Muslims are saved from the harm. Of his time and his arms. When he speaks, he doesn't just say that 